Hey everybody, my name is Kids Coding, and welcome back to day four of Bootstrap. So today is essentially going to be about something called badges. Badges add extra content and information to something that's already there. So it's just going to give a little bit of a cool kind of style. So to do this, we can first need our CDN, obviously. Then we need our body to start out our code, which will show on the um, browser, which is on my left. And then after that, what we need is a container, a container class like that. And then we'll do a heading. You can do a paragraph too, but I'm just going to do a heading. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you all something about the badge. Right now I'm just coding some text, but we're not working on the badge. Okay, so there's the text. So now we need to make a span class. After that, then we need to make our badge class, like that. We need to make a span, and then we need to make a badge class. After that, we then need a, context a contextual class. Um, I might refer a lot as, as to a contextual class, because a contextual class is essentially something that is one class, and then it will be added on with a hyphen with something else. So for example, I've said text hyphen danger a lot. That's a contextual class because it contains one class, which is text, and then the other class, which is danger, which is the color red. So that's what a contextual class is. It combines two different classes. So we're going to use badge danger. That is a contextual class that we need. And then we need to add another badge right here. So we need a badge class and then a badge contextual class. Um, you don't have to do danger, like I said, it can be any other color, like I mentioned. So after that, um, then after we're good and then we need to add some text so I'm just gonna say this is a red badge because that's essentially what it what it's going to be so let's go ahead here and save it and then let's reload and see what happens as you see here um, a red badge is shown and then you have the heading so if I were to change the heading if I were to make it like a heading 2 or something what I do if I were to make it like a heading 2 then what would happen is that the badge would just shorten. So it would pretty much align with the text. That was what I was trying to show you. But if you don't want to add any text and you want a plain badge, um, this is also called a contextual badge, but um, the simple way to do it is to just get rid of this and then you're goaded from there. And then get rid of the, the span two and the H2. Oh my bad, yeah you need the span, but otherwise I think you're good from there. Yeah, just like that. So then when you save it over here, then it'll just be a red, I'm gonna say contextual badge. And let's save it over here and let's reload. And then you see here it's essentially going to be a red contextual badge. So if you want to make the badge bigger, you're going to have to add another text with um, one of the four elements h1 h2 and that will essentially align with the text but this is just a simple badge by itself and that's the default size so then we can add something called a badge build class a badge build class will essentially make the badge round it'll give it a rounder border like as you see here now it's going to give it its round border so that's what a badge pill does and then we're on to our final thing which will essentially cover and it will elaborate on what I said in the last video on day three which was bootstrap buttons so um what we can do is first we can add a container class after the container class we can then add a button type so what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to do a button and then on top of that a badge so I'm just elaborating on what I did in day three if you watch that um links in the description below you should check it out hopefully it'll be there okay but anyway Let's continue. Okay, let, we need a button, so that will define it as a button. Then we need our class, which is a button class, and then the button contextual class, which is button danger or whatever color you prefer. Like that, and then we close it from there. After that, we then need to add some, some of whatever text you want. You can do whatever I'm doing. I'm just gonna do notifications and it's gonna show how many notifications is on there. So the badge is gonna show the number of notifications. I hope this all makes sense. Then let's do a span class. 
We always need a span class when we're making a badge. It's really important that we do that. Then after that, we need badge and then the color of the badge. I'm doing light, which is essentially white. So um, let's close that. And then we need our text. I'm gonna do the number nine to show that there's nine notifications. Let's save that over here and then let's reload to see what happens. As you see right here, there's nine of them. Um, something went wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you had any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. If you learned something new, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. And then if you're interested, follow my Insta at Kids Coding Club, and I'll see you all next time.